Hi, I'm Sally Thibault and in this video today we're going to be tapping on the habits that keep you stuck in self-sabotage. You know, self-sabotage is a way that our subconscious keeps us safe. It keeps us from being criticized or perhaps it's a fear of success or a fear of shining your light or a fear of the unknown. But self-sabotage can be released through tapping. Now, many times with self-sabotage, there's lots of different aspects. So it's usually not one in particular, but self-sabotage is that thing that holds you back from really experiencing the brilliance of you. So now for a moment, I want you to think of something you know that you use that self-sabotages you. How many times in the past have you set a goal to achieve something and then excuses come up or a justification or whatever has come up and you just haven't achieved it? What I want you to do is measure your level of disappointment. We're going to tap on that today. This level of disappointment that I've self-sabotaged again. And I want you to measure that in a scale of one to 10. You may even want to think of something really specific that you set a goal to achieve. It could be uh, bringing more money into your business. It could be um, weight. It could be, you know, you decided you were going to um, do extra um, workouts and you just didn't, you stayed in bed and whatever it is. But I'd like you to measure your level of disappointment in yourself. And let's see how we go. Okay, even though I know I self-sabotage, in this particular instance, I know I sabotage myself and I'm really disappointed in myself. I deeply and completely accept myself and how I feel. Even though when I look at this goal, I know I sabotaged my own success and I'm disappointed. I deeply and completely accept myself and how I feel. Even though I can feel this overwhelming disappointment when I realize how I have sabotaged my own success, I deeply and completely accept myself and how I feel. Okay, tapping. This disappointment, I've sabotaged myself. This disappointment I feel when I realize it's just sabotage. I really wanted to achieve this goal, but I let excuses and justifications get in the way. I've disappointed in myself. I can feel this disappointment. I let all sorts of excuses get in the way. This disappointment, feeling disappointed. I let those excuses just get in the way. I let those interruptions get in my way. I was really keen at the beginning, but I created all sorts of sabotage for myself and I feel disappointed. Okay, take a deep breath and let it go. Now the thing about sabotage is you realize that it's there to keep you safe. You're just hanging on to something where in the past you haven't felt safe to step up and step out. So sabotage is one of those things with a lot of legs, but we're just going to deal with the disappointment now. So I want you to measure and see where the disappointment has gone down. I think, you know what, now I get it. I, it wasn't so bad, but I really like to change it. So we're going to do a reframe round, but I want you to make sure that disappointment feeling has come right down to zero or two. Okay, let's do a reframe round. Even though I have disappointed myself in the past, I choose to find whatever the excuses are and I choose to understand why I sabotage. Even though that disappointment has come down somewhat, I choose to find out why I sabotage. I know there's a reason and that's okay. One more time. Even though I feel disappointed, but it's come down a lot. I choose to open my heart and my mind to understanding why I sabotage myself all the time. Tapping. I choose to release this self-sabotage. I choose to understand why I do it. I choose to give myself a break. 
I choose to release any and all judgment I have of myself. I choose to understand why I sabotage. I choose to open my heart and my mind to understanding the reason. I choose to not judge myself. I choose to find out why I sabotage. I choose to understand the reason why. I choose to release all judgment of myself. I choose to give myself a break. I choose to release the need to self-sabotage. I choose to understand why. I choose to embrace all these reasons so that I can let them go. I choose to understand why I self-sabotage. And I choose to release the judgment. Take a deep breath and let it go. Okay, let's go to our power pose. I want you now to just think for a moment of a moment that you know you've sabotaged yourself, your, um, your success. And I want you to picture in your mind now what it would look like if you achieved it. If you could go back, which you can, rewrite the goal, redo it, put it in your mind now, what it would feel like. And I want you to hold that pose. Remember, bringing that energy up through your feet, holding that, believing in yourself that you can actually achieve whatever you can, whatever you want. Just have to believe in yourself and make a commitment to release the sabotage because you're worthy of it. I hope this has helped. I'll talk with you soon. Bye for now.